are back on a Friday morning. Laura Jarrett and Kaylee Hartung are with me here in studio because Craig is out in Arizona for a very important reason. Hey again, Craig. Hey, ladies, good to see you again. Uh, good morning. Greetings from the Cologuard Classic Golf Tournament. Uh, there is, of course, the golf. Some legendary players are going to tee it up here over the next few days. But this event is also about raising awareness for the battle against colorectal cancer. And as many of you know, I've been passionate about this uh, cause ever since we lost my brother Lawrence to the disease back in 2020. I serve as an unpaid board member for the Colorectal Cancer Alliance, uh, our sponsor for this segment, the Alliance is a proud partner of the Cola Guard Classic. And to talk a little bit more about the work that the Alliance is doing, I'm joined now by my good friend, CEO of the Alliance, Michael Sapienza. Good to have you, sir. Good morning, Craig. Thanks so much. We're incredibly excited to be here. Um, this year, actually, the Colorectal Cancer Alliance announced an incredible initiative called Project Cure CRC, or Colorectal Cancer, with plans actually to distribute almost $100 million of research funds over the next two years to end this disease. It's yeah. the largest philanthropic. Absolutely. Largest philanthropic investment that's really ever happened for this disease. You know, we hope it obviously will be transformational and make sure we have uh, many more treatments for patients for years to come. And here's the thing. Um, these potential breakthroughs could help patients like my friend Sean Farah here. Sean, uh, Sean is with me as well. Sean was diagnosed uh, with rectal cancer back in 2017 uh, when he was just 45 years old. That was, we should point out, that was before the recommended screening age at the time. Uh, he's had surgery, he's had round after round of chemo, and Sean is with me this morning, and so is his wife, Dina. Thank you both for making the trip in last night. Thanks for being, being here with me this morning. Thanks for having us here. So it told us, first of all, how are we doing today? How, how are we feeling? Um, tell me a little bit about that. Let's Pretty start good. There. I'm still in uh, active treatment. So I go uh, for treatment every two weeks for chemotherapy, but um, I'm handling it pretty well. Things are stable for me right now. So we're in a pretty good place. So where do you guys live? Uh, we live in Marietta, Ohio, which is about two hours away from uh, Columbus. So you, you have to drive about two and a half? Two, two so and a half. we got a four-hour round trip for every chemo uh, infusion, and then there's all, there are also follow-up appointments with yeah. the different doctors and everything. So we make a lot of trips up there. I could do it blindfolded, I think. <laughs> we don't want that, though. Dina, no. Dina's here for that. Uh, Dina's been at your side through the whole battle. You, you mentioned yeah, you've so got... You've got three kids yep. as well, three yep. grown children. Mm -hmm. um, they're, they're out of the house, though. Right. They're out, out of the house. house. Yes. Um, yes. I don't know. One of the things that, that I've talked a lot about over the past few years with, with different families who are in the same struggle, the financial toll yes. it takes on your family. Talk to me it's a little a bit about that. Um, there's just a lot that you don't realize goes into it, um, all the co-pays and then your deductible. And once you get ahead a little bit, then there's another doctor stay or hospital stay, appointments. Um, it just really adds up. Um, I do a lot of the financial stuff at home, take that over. I try not to like, let it affect his stress. Yeah. He's trying to deal with a lot already. So there's a lot um, involved with it. Um, it is stressful, we, but we try not to dwell on it. Yeah and just take it day by day, um, there's going to be debt. That's just part of it. All right. So. <laughs> I want to bring Michael Sapienza back in now. Yeah, we're super excited. So at the Colorectal Cancer Alliance, we obviously couldn't do what we do without our incredible corporate partners. You know, one of them actually heard about all it takes, you know, for patients like uh, Sean and his wife, Dina, to get treatments, and we wanted to help. You know, whether that is hotel stays, whether that is travel, airfare, et cetera. And we're thrilled to announce today that our partner, Expedia, is making a generous donation of $10,000 to Sean and his family to help them cover their travel expenses. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's yes. amazing. Thank you so much. Yes. You have no idea how much that helps. Really. Good. It does. We don't yourself. want you to have to worry about money. We want you yeah, to worry about getting better. Yeah. Okay. It definitely helps a lot. So, yeah. good. Keep fighting. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Dina. so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thank you, Michael. Yeah. Thanks to our thank friends you. at Expedia as well. Uh, Sean and Dina, say travels back. Thanks. And a big thanks to all the folks who came out uh, this morning. Uh, we love Sean, too. Yeah. Yeah, we love Sean. Uh, ladies, we're going to send it back to the studio. Oh, to, that's to you so guys. great. The financial burden yes. on these families, along with everything else they're dealing yes. with. It's so important. Craig, thank you so much. Yeah, give our love to Dina and Sean, please, Craig.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.